So I think from a distance, especially over FaceTime, there are a lot of physical things that you can do to your submissive or have your submissive do to themselves acting as your hands. So I had a submissive uh, one time really into foot worship. And so I had a phone call with this submissive while I was outside walking around and I wore my Ugg boots and it had just rained and it was muddy and it was gross. And so I'm on the phone with this submissive and I'm, I'm putting the phone down. I'm letting him hear the sounds of my boots in the mud being like, yeah, and those boots are going to walk all over your fucking face. Like things like that, where I'm just creating this scene, adding in some sensory elements. And then when he was good, I actually shipped those boots to him and made him lick them clean on a, on a FaceTime call, on a voice chat or a video chat. And it was, was I sitting there? Wearing the boots? No. But were we still engaging in this very sensory, physical, tactile way over foot worship or boot worship? 100%. This is setting the table in the submissive's mind first. I mean, I suppose. I just feel like it's good domination. <laughs> and this is the same submissive that I could literally, I, he would tell me where he was and I would randomly wherever he was i could get him off in one or two lines of text and so i would wait to say things until he was at the car dealership or <laughs> wherever it's like you have to know how your submissive ticks and how you can fuck with them and how you can play with them a little bit distance doesn't have to do anything but that boot thing weird you out Whew. That's not for you then. That's not for you then. But I'm not going to be feeling ashamed or weird because it makes you feel weird. So thank you for sharing. But that's part of the kinky buffet. It's you put on your plate what you want on your plate. And if someone has four servings of foot worship or boot worship on there, then you don't even have to look at their plate. You don't have to comment about their plate. You don't have to say, oh, what kind of person are you that you would put that on your plate? It's a judgment. It's a judgment statement. And a lot of these judgment statements come from vanilla conditioning, where we're still harboring shame, and then we project that shame on other people. And again, YouTube, you're not going to find that here. That's why this exists. That's why this community exists. And that's why I always say that BDSM is not a closet to come out of. It's a buffet to choose from. You put whatever you want on your kinky plate. But while you're doing that, don't judge others for what they're putting on their plates. Some of your own kinks weird you out. <laughs> oh, you silly creature. <laughs> 